सो हे गाइस सो टुडे आई विल शेयर विद यू माय जर्नी ऑफ हाउ आई बिकेम अ मशीन लर्निंग इंजीनियर एंड हाउ यू कैन एक्चुअली एंटर दिस फील्ड बाय स्टडिंग द मेन थ्री टॉपिक्स एट अ वेरी एसेंशियल व्हेन यू आर ट्राइंग टू बिकम अ एमएलई इंजीनियर इधर यू वांट टू गो इनटू द फील्ड ऑफ डेटा साइंस और मशीन लर्निंग विद द बिकॉज यू नो इन द मार्केट दे आर हाइप दैट इज टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स बट इंटरनली दे सम हाउ डू सिमिलर वर्क नॉट एग्जैक्टली सेम बट ए सिमिलर वर्क सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू नो द एसेंशियल्स दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड so i'll start with sharing some of my things that actually helped me become and things that you guys actually need to focus on so if i start with the first thing that is my educational background so i st- i studied in rain international school and i graduated from vit bhopal so as you can see my percentage wasn't that good so and my cgpa also was, wasn't also that good so in coming to on campus placements when it comes to data science and machine learning roles i definitely faced a setback so i would recommend you any of the person who is preparing uh, for machine learning roles or data science roles or is it is present in campus to keep a very high cgpa like at least 9 so so that you guys can actually able to sit in some of the companies that are hiring for those particular roles now coming to some of my my experiences that actually helped me so in 2021 i started my journey as a software development engineer so Th- this was more of a part time role that i started at an organization in, in my university then i did my machine learning research intern at iit jodhpur uh, in the year of may 2020 uh, in the year of 2022 in the may month then i joined yellow as a machine learning engineer intern in october 2023 and currently i am working as a machine learning engineer at yellow only so some of my achievements that actually helped me here will be the next slide but right now now you guys must be thinking about some courses and certificates that you guys need to do so i'll be very honest with you guys these are the only two ai certificates that i did nothing else more than this but to be honest these certificates didn't get me any job directly okay so while preparing for them i learned a lot of things even as your ai fundamentals i would recommend you guys if you are not getting this for free and tensorflow certified developer this certificate is definitely a worth worthy certificate but this year they are closing it down so uh, by the time you are watching this video maybe they have shut down this whole program but when you are studying for this particular certificate you will do a lot of courses you will uh, do a lot of tutorials a lot of uh, new things on cnn rnn so you are you are at last going to learn a lot of things so that's the reason i would recommend you guys if you are not able to even get the certificate do go and get the preparatory material that is required for tensorflow certified developer now coming to the next thing that is hackathons guys do a lot of hackathons so this is my experience i participated in imagine cup smart india hackathon miraki and i was winner in all three of them so i would recom- recommend you guys suggest you very highly to go and participate in these kinds of hackathons because they give you real life experiences how actually when you're working on a big project or product things work now coming to the next part that is uh, some uh, some achievement that helped me so Uh, in the may 2023 because of my hackathon wins i was invited to the unstrop awards which helped me uh, get some recognition by sending emails to the uh, to the companies uh, the cold emails are very oftenly rejected because they are not in a format which catches attention of the people so make sure you have a very strong profile so so that you are easily able to capture that uh, attention of the recruiter now let's start from the basics what three steps you actually need to get into the field of data science or machine learning so mathematics it's very essential so i'll i'll show you guys so what are the most basic steps that are needed in the next slide for sure but keep in my mind that out of the three steps mathematics is very important now second is programming obviously when once you once you know the basics of maths and uh, linear algebra you need to apply you you are able to apply those in in real life in the programming cons in in the programming like either in one of the language python is always a recommendation but not mandatory now consistency so these three things if you are able to achieve like if you are able to achieve consistency in the previous two things that is mathematics and programming i can assure you no one can stop you from entering into the field of data science and machine learning in the in the next 6 to 8 months only so let's start from the mathematics part what are the major requirement things so linear algebra is very important thing then you have derivation and integration then you have uh, analytic geometry then you have matrix operations vector calculus probability and distribution so now you guys must be thinking where to learn start, uh, learn these things from so 
if if you are watching this video from from a from a country where basic mathematics is taught in uh, till uh, 10th standard or 12th standard like matrix operations what is transpose and everything addition multiplication then you guys don't need to explicitly study it from very basic you guys can study it from the part where you need to apply these things in the terms of artificial intelligence and machine learning so some of the courses that i can show you is so this course of essence of linear algebra by 3 blue one brown very famous course it will help you understand the basics and in detail of linear algebra you don't need to dive very deep like every single thing but you need to at least have a, a, a you know greater view than the top view right now there is one more thing mathematics for machine learning this book i would recommend if you guys want to go even more deep and um, personally i like this book very much because it talks about the part where you can go and uh, understand how ai uses mathematics at the back end now there is one more thing you guys can go and have the stanford course of andrew kaparde so he actually tells that each and everything like how derivations how integration and these things are working in the concept of some topics like back propagation in machine learning so very high recommendation i will link down all the resources and courses in the description you guys can go and have a look now once we are done with mathematics what is the next thing so obviously programming in tools so some the one is intermediate python you need to have a good knowledge of python because in machine learning and data science python is also is used majorly uh, i know a lot of people will say r is also one of the thing but uh, this video is explicitly about a uh, machine learning so i will focus on python here now data structures and algorithms why a lot of people will tell you you didn't don't need to do dsa uh, it's a it's a it's a very you know uh, big misconception that people spread that data structure and algorithms are not required to uh, crack a specific domain job it's it's false because they actually help you to build your problem solving skills that essentially will help you in over time in you know able to think through a process how you need to solve the problems and even during the interviews you uh, if, even if you are applying for machine learning you will be asked data structure and algorithms even i was asked data structure and algorithms in half of my interview of machine learning so for for that i would recommend you lead code lead code is the best place go and uh, have a look uh, like start with the very basic problems you don't need to do competitive programming specifically for this but yeah now there is another youtube channel that is take you forward uh, i will pin down uh, pin that down in the description as usual you guys can have some look on the courses and playlist that that person has created uh, regarding link list and uh, hash map almost all the concepts so uh you know you need to have a strong lead code profile not on the terms of questions but on the terms of uh, ratings and uh, the 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 community engagement that you have like you are, you are able to put out a solution that is different than the, than the others so that that will make you shine out right so then you need to have some basic knowledge of numpy pandas and scikit-learn so these are libraries that are commonly used in machine learning so i i, I created this playlist for my tf exam so because before starting with uh, any one of the framework like tensorflow or pytorch you need to have basic knowledge of numpy pandas and uh, scikit learn so these are must three uh, things that you guys should do uh, and uh, for for choosing your framework tensorflow or pytorch you know you guys can go any with any one of them it, it won't matter much because when you start working on a particular framework switching isn't that hard as people say at least that is what i feel and uh, you can you can start with tensorflow you can start with pytorch and uh, both have an amazing community so you you won't run into errors into any one of them because the community support is very strong the last thing streamlit or fast api so streamlit and fast api are like basic tools that you should you uh, know streamlit for is for the front end part when you are deploying any application in in your python like you are using any ai uh, api and you want to make make anything for the hackathon or you are deploying anything uh, like the model so fast api will help you there so uh, you know these two things i would recommend you guys to go and learn because uh, streamlit and fast api are used in major major of the product uh, projects at least in the testing phase now coming to the part that that was it from my side so in in this in these 10 minutes i have uh, told you that how you can guys can become a ml ml or data scientist in the next 6 to 8 months only you just need to be consistent and follow the path and start preparing for interviews do hackathons study dsa uh, 
is have 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 basic of mathematics how these libraries tensorflow pytorch are working in the back end the basics like what mathematical function must be being used uh, and i think you are good to go so yeah thank you and have a nice day